Hey everybody, I'm Midnight Mothman and today we're playing Moth House. A game where we are in a house hunting moths and I thought that's so fitting for this channel. And maybe we'll meet Mothman. I think I can almost see him there on the on the start screen if you look to the right. That's kind of creepy. And it's a game made by Ken Forrest who also made Lighter.exe which we just played and Please Don't Litter from a while ago. Um, let's get right into it, I'd say. Oh, we got a letter. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm writing to inform you that I'm leaving for far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please don't. Please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen. But if it, I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. In the attached letter there is a list with species of moth. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. I really like the effect over this uh, screen. It's almost like a... Super 8 film. That's really cool. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. The sensitivity is a bit high. Uh, this has to do for now. Oh, that's moody. I don't know about you. I know some people don't really like uh, thunderstorms, but I think they're super cozy. If you're inside, at least. Outside, well, I can take them or leave them, honestly. Already. I also like rats, so that's not something that you really can get me with, honestly. This guy must have laughed moths as he puts a picture up like this. Kinda weird. There's a lot of them. Oh. Use the mouse wheel to change the item. Okay, I only have one. Can I catch these? I can. American Dagger Moth. So if I think about which one I've seen here. The first one seems like one I've seen up here and of course the small ones. Like the moths here can be kind of big. It depends. I'm living kind of in the countryside. And I feel like everything's bigger here. Also oh, really completely... I could... I could catch all of them. I thought it's just like a texture flying around. But it's literally single moths. That's really cool. How do I... Can I turn my light off? And on. But yeah, I, I would say if you look on the top right there... Um, that's the ones that I, we usually have around here. Also, uh, Cecil is a uh, hiding one. Let's see if I can... There you go. A black witch moth. And there's Cecil. There we go. That has to do for now. Oh, that's a big one. Holy. Okay, this is not ha as big as they become here. I feel like they are not that big in real life. Do I have to catch all of them? I think that's kind of impossible. If I don't spend like two hours here. Oh, we got 60 of the small ones. The small ones. What's that? Head? Pick up. What's that? Oh, it changed the frequency. That's pretty high. 
I have no idea what that's supposed to do right now, though. Holy hell, these are gigantic. I know I'm the mid uh, Midnight Mothman. Midman Moth Knight. I meant to say. <laughs> no, no, no. But. I don't. I like the Mothman. Moths themselves, I can. Again, take them or leave them. Oh! Honk, honk. He actually honks. The, what do I need that for? Oh, can I maybe open the door with that? <laughs> Cooking? Cooking what? Item. What does it say? Titum. Ah. There you go. What's here though? Oh, that's... Oh, these are the weird moths. Aren't they like from Vietnam or Thailand or something? They have like these weird tails. Whenever one gets posted online, it's like... Look at these weird alien. What's what's this? Disgusting. Oh, come on. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. They look kind of icky. I am really not the biggest fan of... Uh... Need a key. I think I hear a moth somewhere here. I'm not the biggest fan of bugs to continue my, my thought process there. So. Use F to light, put on a match. And that's a lot of moths. Kind of disgusting uh, voice clip that's skittering. Spider? No spider. I see something there though. Must be. Holy fuck! Why are they so gigantic? Oh, let's see if the frequency change. Kinda low down here. Oh! Okay. Okay. So there's a jump scare. Is that what the frequency is for? But that didn't change at all, I think. Also, so I don't die. It just puts me in a cocoon. Well, yeah? okay. That's not too bad. I mean, here's the thing, right? That really did not get me. <laughs> and. I, I can't say why. I think jump scares do get me sometimes because this is a jump scare, right? And it's just there to give you like a, a spook, a fright, whatever you want to call it. And it's fine. Um, if you ever watch me stream, <laughs> I, I do get frightened there sometimes. Well, I can't even say frightened, I get spooked. But the atmosphere is like everything for me. Can get a get great atmosphere. You got me. And this has a good atmosphere. I actually get more spooked from my light going out. Okay, we got quite a few now. The 
missing pretty much all the ones on the bottom. Okay, so I'm guessing if this changes to a higher frequency, the moth is coming close. Right? That totally makes sense. Yep, hearing it. So I turn the light off and hide. No wonder these are all so big because there's a fucking gigantic one around here. Got another recipe. They're kind of close. patrolling in that that way I have the thought that maybe we will be cooking the get me if I stand here Apparently the answer is no. Okay. No, it does. It does. That's a disgusting sound. These probably don't change, huh? Am I losing moths if uh, I get... Oh, so really no minus except that I have to run back. I mean, we will probably be cooking moths. I don't know why. Because we're supposed to ha save them, right? Almost got one from each of them. this where okay um i haven't been here i think and then the other way where the big moth just hangs out the whole time we're missing a rosy maple moth and a white witch moth I'm assuming that um, certain moths are just in certain places because, again, the 
Triatornatos Genghis Moth was just in the bathroom. It was a big boy, right? I assume it was. Maybe we can finally get through here. Oh, let's read this. Why not? The Death's Head Hawk Moth is a large and distinctive moth that is found in various parts of the world, including Europe, Asia and Africa. It gets its name from the skull-shaped pattern on its thorax, which resembles a human skull and has long been associated with death and the supernatural. This moth has a wingspan up to, of up to 13 cm and is primarily brown in color, with yellow and orange stripes on its abdomen. And we all know it from Silence of the Lambs. Where's that thing? Oh. I don't know. I think this is one that we need. Recipe. The comet moth is known as the Madagascar moon butterfly. It's a species of moth native to, native to Madagascar. It is known for its distinctive appearance with large, pale yellow wings and long, broad tails, reminiscent of a comet's tail. The comet butterfly is considered one of the largest silk butterflies in the world. Its wingspan can reach 20 centimeters. An adult butterfly cannot feed and lives only 4 to 5 days. Although not considered a serious pest, the comet moth is highly prized for its beauty and is often sought after by collectors. My uncle used to have, um, he used to collect, um, insects. And he had some really rare ones. Oh, I'm done. Now I have to get all the way back here. He used to have like um, real rare spiders and sadly, I mean, well, I don't like spiders. So I'll say sadly in as they, they were dead, which I was not unhappy of, honestly. As horrible as it sounds, right? But I really hate spiders. Correct here? Uh. Hi, Paul. It turns out the lingua moths has many abilities besides speaking human language they are capable of blank so i have to report that i'm going to blank i'm not sure i'll be back from there but in the name of science i have to check it out i grew new types of moths in the basement i hope that while i'm away the house will not rot from a large number of different moths just in case i block the entrance if something happens then i let the key in the attic in the library that's where we just were right I think I hear it. Is this the library? We're still missing a white moth. Oh, I think I heard, hear it. bad at this, turns out. Still haven't found the key. Uh, still we're seeing a white one.
Oh, that is, that's the famous photo that I've seen on Reddit. Man, that looks weird. Ugh. Not good. I realize the irony. Calling myself Midnight Mothman and then saying... Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> Bye. How does it find me the whole time? Oh. The white and black witch moth, also known as the giant owl moth, is a species of moth found in parts of North, Central and South America. It's known for its large size with a wingspan that can reach up to 30 centimeters and its distinctive black and white coloration. The caterpillars of this species are also quite striking, with bright green and yellow stripes along their bodies. The white and black witch moth is primarily active at night and feeds on the nectar of flowers. A flower drinking buddy. I think I have to run into them. For him to see me. Maybe? I'm honestly not sure. We are in the library. There. Ah, we found the white moths. Now we got all of them. It honestly might be easier to just be caught by the big boy. It's Mofra. Guardian of Kids. Now what's what's Mofra's title again? It's been a long time since I've seen a Mothra movie. I actually like Mothra more than I like Godzilla. I don't know if that's a opinion that I'm should be allowed to have, but you can't stop me. What is that sound around here? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's not good. Oh! Can I catch you? Now that's Mothra. Why can't I move? Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, now I can move. I like that. It looks like these are his eyes. Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. You see? The king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house and the moth king is hungry. Hungry. <laughs> He's hungry. He's already tired of eating little moths flying by pa past him. Once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently and with normal food. He needs soup. Moth soup. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the Moth King. Oh, now, now we... Okay, okay. That makes a lot more sense than cooking for us, honestly. But also, why is he eating moths? He is a moth. That's kind of weird. The Luna Moth is a large, beautiful moth native to North America. It is named after the Roman goddess of the moon. Because of its pale green color and crescent-shaped markings on its wings, the Luna Moth is known for a short adult lifespan of only about a week, during which it does not eat or have a mouth. 
The wingspan of the lunar moth can reach up to 11 cm, making it one of the largest moths in North America. The caterpillars of this species are also quite striking, with bright green bodies and long spiny tails. The lunar moth is primarily active at night. That's a thing though, right? I think moths don't survive long. They usually don't have any organs to eat with. Okay, we have recipes. That's a big recipe. And so if you ask me, this is something worthy of a king. Come in, Moth King. To just hold this thing to him. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for King. Make more soup. I can almost imagine his sucker just entering this... Uh... This thing and just sucking it all out. So he wants more. Also, I don't know if the king liked the soup, so it's better... It's better... That's kind of a weird sentence. So it's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients. It will be better if you make... Hong Kong. So we made this one. Can make this one. We could make this one. King, here's your food. Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time, and two pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup, I think he'll have enough. Okay. Can I make another one? We had this one. I can make this one. Thank you so much for feeding the Moth King. He really liked your soups. So he has powers and we can finally leave this old house and find yourself an... This house and find yourself another place where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. house that was really fun i think there's two more endings so i'll try to find them and we'll see each other when i when i did so when i was looking for the second um, ending i found this which i missed the sec uh, first time mason hart the famous moth collector has won the nobel prize in biology for his discovery of the lingua moth a new species of moth that can speak human language. The lingua moth's ability to communicate in English has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collecting and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery, and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. I thought that was really interesting. I did not realize when I picked up this recorder or whatever it is that there was a letter sitting there. Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with others, mo other moths and detecting the environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with the average value of around 30 to 60 kilohertz. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called dimples. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth population and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. There you go. But another interesting document. In a truly astonishing discovery, Mason Hart, the well-known collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak human language. Mr. Hart, who has been collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on a collecting trip in the Amazon rainforest. The moth, which has a unique wing pattern and body structure, was observed by Mr. Hart's communicating in English. This incredible discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and has opened up a new has opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart has named the new species Lingua Moth and has pledged to continuing continue studying and protecting this remarkable insect. Okay, here we are. Let's try to feed the Moth King three different no, three of the same soup, I think. 
I'm not sure if it matters. I've been here before and I fed him the soup with all the moths in it three times and that did not work. So I'm assuming you have to feed him anything but not this. So let's make this one. For him to slurp it up. Then make another one. Let's make this one. And make the same again, I guess. Thank you for feeding a Moth King. However, he says that your soups were terrible and he would have been better off starving. I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the King's orders. The Moth King says you killed moths for nothing to make those awful soups. He wants to drive you to Moth Hell. Moth Hell is a terrible place for moths. But not only moths get there, but people too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we will have to part. I'm sorry, but there's no choice, so goodbye. That's a really creepy effect just now. Oh, that's a big moth back there. Ugh. Oh no, I'm a moth too! No! Where are we? In a, a Franz Kafka novel? Is my name Gregor Samsa? <laughs> uh, I like that. Let's uh, look for the third ending. Okay, I think I have the last ending, which... I think it's just me leaving with all of the moths, which I own. So, let's do that. Bye-bye. I'm leaving. Hopefully nothing bad will happen to me. What's that weird stain on the glass? <laughs> oh, look at them leaving. We rescued them. So this is clearly the neutral ending and the one where we uh, satisfy the Moth King with good soup is the good ending because afterwards all the moths leave. And the Moth Hell ending is the worst one. I really like this and I think I probably like every <laughs> game by this developer. Um, it's not even same as Lida and Please Don't Litter. It's not really horror. I guess this is the most horror of all three that I've played. Well, no really Lida is probably the one because that has um, the weird people and the weird thing at the end. But this one is kind of like in the middle between that and Please Don't Litter. It's weird. It's really effective through uh, the use of black and white and light. The sprites of the moths look really good, really effective too. I think by far the weakest part is actually the big moth running around because you can absolutely have it like in a corner where you really need to go and will just walk back and forth in the same area. So you have to activate it for it to be somewhere else afterwards. I think that's my only criticism of this game. Otherwise, I thought it was really cute and it was really fitting for my channel. And I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. I regularly upload videos on this channel, or I try at least. And Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European Summer Time. And I hope I see you next time. Bye bye.